Hi everybody. Some of you will have seen the recent video which I did on my adult review of a Razer E300. Those that are familiar with my channel will know that I've had several Razer E200s and E300s in the past, but most of them have been junkyard pickups and really conditions unknown. So I've never opened up a Razer E300 previously that has not been modified or tampered with. So today I'm going to open up this Razer E300 and just have a look what's inside of it. Now with the Razer E200s that I've opened up in the past, the uh, screws are actually all different lengths. So you've got a uh, different length screws at the front, in the middle and the rear. So as we take the uh, deck off the Razer scooter here, we're going to keep all of the screws uh, in their relative positions so that we know how to get it back together. We'll start with the ones at the front. They're relatively short. You can see the screws from the middle are a fraction longer. So I'll keep them in their relative positions. And finally, the screws at the rear. Now with the rear screws, you need to use a pair of uh, multi grips or something similar, so that because there'll be a nut underneath. Now finally we need to use an allen key to uh, get the screws out of the middle here. So the fundamental design from the outside of the razor E300 by comparison to the Razer E200 is bigger and you can tell uh, that they're very similar design, the fact that the screws all appear very similar as they're coming out. However, the Razer E300 is simply scaled up from the Razer E200, so it's just larger of everything. The deck's longer, the deck's wider. I'm kind of intrigued to see, are there any differences on the inside? So we're about to find out now. So I'll take the deck off. Okay, straight away you can see, I've never seen a bar across here like this on the Razer E200. So obviously that's an improvement they've made with the E300 just to keep everything inside of that battery compartment. So they've got that strap there. That's, it looks like it's secured by Phillips screws. So let's take it off. This screw is on tight. Doesn't want to come out. Let's go get a normal screwdriver. Okay. I'm not sure if that was intended, but that screw at the front really was tight. So you can see with the deck off, this really does look similar to the Razer E200s. So we've got a speed controller here at the front, and then we've got two, what looks like 12 volt sealed lead acid batteries. 
And that really does make sense because we'd have two 12 volt batteries in series to make the 24 volts charging. So looking at these batteries in detail, what we have here clearly is a 12 volt, seven amp hour lead acid battery, which is the same that we have in the Razer E200 electric scooters. Let's just pull one of those out. Stand it up like that. So those that watched my previous review of this scooter, you would know that I commented on the speed controller and the throttle that it is simply on off and it's not variable speed. And that's one of the upgrades which I think we should do to this Razer E300 at some point. But also now that I've had this scooter for a while, and I know that it's got the same capacity batteries, essentially as the Razer E200. We really don't get the acceleration out of this scooter that we'd expect, and that's because of the larger wheels. So something that I'm also going to consider is, can we upgrade these batteries? Now, I've seen a few people around the place that put lithium batteries in their scooters, and I'm certainly not adverse to that. In fact, you know, for another uh, thought one day, I'm actually thinking about a lithium upgrade to one of my other scooters that I revived as part of the Razor Revival. But for this scooter, I really want to keep it as, as stock as possible. And why I'm hesitant to put lithium batteries in this scooter is just the associated danger that comes with lithium. So I'm going to do some research into what other types of batteries I could potentially get into this scooter and that will come in another episode. For now, we're gonna put the deck back on this scooter and uh, enjoy riding it exactly as it is. As you saw there, I deliberately put the screws in, in a certain pattern on the deck when I put the deck back on the scooter. I did one at the front, one here, one here, and then I worked my back, way back through. That's because in the past I've found with the smaller screws, the E200s, that if you start at the front, it kind of gets out of jig. But anyway, the 300 deck does seem to go on far easier than the Razer E200s. As you have seen, I opened up a Razer E300 electric scooter today for the first time. Whilst externally, the E300 is significantly bigger than the E200, internally, they are pretty much identical. If you have liked this video, or if you have any comments or suggestions of other things that you'd like to see, then please do like, comment, or share below. As I alluded to in the video, I am intending to do some upgrades to this scooter in the future. If you'd like to see them, then please do subscribe to my channel for new content.